Hello all. Today we have a topic that is very useful for all of us. The topic name is Abacus. This particular episode we are doing for parents so you can understand why this Abacus class is needed for your child. Okay, as you see this big instrument, this particular instrument is called as Abacus. Okay, you can find lot of things in this Abacus. You can find this yellow color beads. Uh, you can find a frame. You are finding a rod and this all things. So we will today discuss about the parts of this Abacus and why this Abacus is in need. Before coming to this Abacus, we will learn we will discuss about what are the benefits of learning abacus and how this abacus helps in the brain development of the child. So let's uh, discuss some basic concept of abac this abacus. Okay, abacus is around 2500 year old concept. You can imagine before 2500 years this abacus was developed. Basically it was developed in uh, uh, the country like China, US. Uh, like those countries it has started okay this abacus this word came from a Greek word that is abacus which means a calculating board abax means a calculating board this abacus was developed before we have the number system in the world when there was no number system at that time they were used to calculate through this abacus if today also you will go to China you will find uh, this abacus instrument in some shops where in India we are using the calculators to calculate to do calculations in China still they are using this abacus instrument to do calculation. Now let's come to the point why abacus why abacus okay basically in today's era of 21st century we have calculators we have computers we have lot of calculating instruments still why abacus particularly through calculator if you are doing calculation we are just putting the inputs and we are getting the outputs where we are not using our brain but when we will do calculation through abacus there is a 360 degree brain development in the abacus so how it happens let me demonstrate you a particular uh, picture of brain suppose this is the structure of brain so we will divide this brain into two parts left hand side brain and right hand side brain generally we have two parts of brain and out of these two parts of brain left hand side brain works 98 percent and right hand side brain works only for two percent generally out of this hundred percent brain we use basically six percent to seven percent brain and left goes unused Let's take we have a capacity of 6% of using this brain. So out of 100% we are using only 6% and out of this 6% we are using 98% left hand side brain and only use 2% right hand side brain. Now we will come to the work criteria of this brains. Left hand side brain. This is a logical brain okay here we work with all the logics okay reading a book recognizing a letter recognizing a number whatever would we do day to day life everything happens in left hand side brain okay so left hand side brain is very busy this left hand side brain is very busy it is same like the c drive of our computer lot of programming lot of things are there in c drive when a computer starts c drive starts and it takes time so generally left hand side does all the works like to recognize people uh, we are eating we are drinking we are reading a book we are doing sums and everything it happens in left hand side brain now comes to the right hand side brain right hand side brain is a creative brain I told you left hand side brain is a logical brain and right hand side brain is a creative brain. When does this right hand side brain works? When we do some creative work. What are the creative works? Drawing, painting, pictures, movie, drama, art, games. These things when it happens this 
creative brain works and what are the plus points of this creative brain what are the minus point of this logical brains logical brain do all the things in the day what day to day life but it has a very small time memory what do we mean by small time memory it means after finishing the work for a small time it keeps in mind then after it goes to recycle bin so we forget the things we do in the left hand side brain what are the benefits of right hand side brain which is a creative brain whatever we do in right hand side brain whatever happens in the right hand side brain that goes for a long time memory i can give you an example if i will ask you two questions what color dress you wear before one week do you able to tell me do you remind no but if i will ask you if you have seen a movie one year before suppose let's take an example of tare zameen par okay that is a hindi movie if you have seen that movie one year before now you will close your eyes and you will think about the movie you can memorize the movie but if we will ask you what you have done before one week or before 10 days or before five days it is very difficult for us to remind the things so generally whenever we work in the right hand side brain it goes it works very fast because it works very less so all the nerves in this brain are free to work so whenever any work comes to the right hand side brain it works very faster and at the same time it goes for a long time memory that's why what happens nowadays there are lot of schools they are uh, doing with video and audio technology of teaching where students are learning along with that they are also seeing the picture it means there are two things whenever we work on the left hand side brain it is quite slow and the memory power is very less but whenever we work on the right hand side brain it is quite faster and the memory power is also for a long time so here comes the use of abacus now let's see again suppose we have a question 3 plus 2 so generally what happens if we give this input 3 plus 2 to left hand side brain it works with logic so it do calculation and it gives you answer and but when we do a calculation through abacus what it happens this 3 plus 2 this goes through left hand side brain as input and it transfer the number into right hand side brain and it creates a picture for the answer okay 3 plus 2 is 5 so here it creates a picture for the answer and we work through pictures and the output also come as a picture as i told you we have two parts of brain and left hand side brain works very slowly and it has very short time memory and right hand side brain works very faster and it has a long time memory so in abacus what we generally do we convert the question into pictures and we work through right hand side brain and the answers comes as a picture and whenever we work through a right side brain this right hand side mainly improves memory concentration logical power reasoning power and listening skills right hand side brain right hand side is mainly responsible for these five things so in abacus we are not only improving the math part but we are working on a 360 degree brain development 360 degree brain development means we are trying to use our whole brain so as we will do math along with that we can also improve our memory power our concentration our logical ability our analytical skills our reasoning skills and our listening skills so once a student will develop all these skills definitely his math will improve a lot along with that side by side he will get or she will get a overall overall development in his career where he will get good marks 
and he will get good analytical and reasoning and problem solving skills. So 